Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to have a little highlight of the 0.63 internal build, live streamed of course by the DAISY development team. This is a first for the DAISY dev team with 0.63, and the highlights for the most part will be the developers talking themselves. I'll just be putting it in a nice little neat pile for you, as they will be talking about the stamina system, animations, firearms, melee, and that the first experimental release for 0.63 is literally weeks away, not months, weeks. So let's start with Peter talking about the stamina system. What is the biggest, biggest change compared to 0 0.63, uh, 0 0.62 that you will notice immediately in the game? It's basically a new game. Yeah. Really. Uh, uh, you can witness a new character controller, which is mm -hmm. uh, much more fluid. Yeah. Uh, new actions, uh, stamina, yeah. uh, all that stuff, uh, or the weapon system. Right. I so uh, everything feels uh, really fresh and yep. uh, new compared to the 62 version. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think everybody from the start will notice because the best thing to do when you actually start playing Daisy you spawn on the coast. If there's no loot around you, you probably just want to run, run inlands and and uh, you know find some goodies, find some loot. So and and obviously for that, uh, the big change in the game right now is that. Before in 0 0.62 in legacy versions, we had basically unlimited unlimited sprinting, and now we have a stamina system. Exactly. Uh, yeah. To be fair, uh, I would like to say the normal speed, which is uh, meant for traversing, is a uh, joke. Like yeah. when you just spray the w, uh, double W, and uh, sprint uh, is meant to be for fleeing from. Yeah. Uh, some situation uh, in, in the bottom left corner. There's yes, a stamina indicator. Yeah. Uh, there is stamina in the left corner, uh, left bottom corner, and uh, you can see uh, the stamina is stamina bar is uh, or the amount of the stamina is quite short. Yeah. As I mentioned, it's uh, meant uh, mainly for the fleeing uh, from the danger, yeah. and it depends uh, on your actual. Uh, weight on the load yeah. uh, on your character. So the more stuff uh, you are carry, mm -hmm. uh, the stamina bar is uh, cut off. Yeah. So you need to count uh, with it. Uh, if you want to have the maximum uh, stamina available, yeah. you should be literally naked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that'll that'll make some interesting gameplay situations, <laughs> I can imagine. You'll now but have to uh, actually think about the the loot that you really carry because it's going to matter a lot more. Exactly. Yes. Martin and Peter then bring up vehicles, mentioning that they won't be an experimental initially, but will be later on down the line. Also, they should be easier to find and will change the gameplay quite significantly. An important point to say, when we are going to release the first experimental update of 0.63, uh, we will still not have vehicles, so. But when vehicles are in play, this will also probably change the system of very course. much. Of uh, course, like vehicles in the future uh, should be really easy to find. Yeah. Like there should be like plenty of vehicles, but uh, even if they are easy to find, they are hard to fix. Yeah. So plenty of uh, parts uh, together from the vehicles you find right. around to put in the one vehicle you want. Uh, to be uh, operatable uh, and go to go to the adventures you want. Right. Uh, also, there is uh, like I notice like people are a little bit afraid of the stamina system, yeah. and it's like it will take like uh, twice the time to get to the spot and stuff like that. Uh, I would say like currently the jog the normal speed uh, you have in game it's mm -hmm. uh, around 15 kilometers per hour yeah. which is quite fast <laughs> and the sprint is uh, around 24 kilometers per hour okay so even uh, if you want to travel something like uh, around 10 kilometers mm -hmm. distance uh, let's say from uh, electro to the northwest Air yeah. uh, northwest airfield uh, it's around 10 kilometers uh, by airline or right. how it's called in English. Uh, the difference uh, with the current stamina system is around like 8 to 10 minutes. Right. So it's not so much mm -hmm. actually. We also get to see the long-awaited moving while eating and we can see the status indicator, the circle in the middle of the screen. As it fills up, shows us how far we are with eating the can of food. It also works the same for chopping wood, picking up sticks, skinning animals or loading a weapon. 
We can also see that Beatty playing at the moment has bloody hands. They previously hunted a chicken and cut it up. Of course, having bloody hands and leaving it can lead to infection. And Beatty does walk to a well to clean her hands. You can also clean your hands using a water bottle. Nice. <laughs> cool. See guys, and this ah, is this yes. is how you this is how you avoid diseases and and, and now uh, Betty can take a sip. Yeah. To raise the uh, water level a bit. Nice. You can see it in the water indicator. Yeah. Uh, down there, it's going up. Yeah. Cool. Maybe if you have a water bottle to fill it. Yeah. Cool thing is, if you want to wash your bloody hands, and you're not near, uh, you know, the water pump or any other like large water source, but you have the water bottle with the water in it, you can actually pour it over your hands and, and wash your hands now. It's a nice little detail as well. Of course, you can do it from the water bottle, as yep. you mentioned. Uh, you can do it from even pot uh, with the water in it. Or canteen, it right. doesn't matter, or jerry can. Cool. And here we can see the new tourist trail maps, which of course shows the whole of Chernarus, and a lot of detail like your location, etc. Betty also shows off the naked eye zoom, which a lot of people were worried wasn't going to make it into 6.3. Well, it is. The team then go for a jaunt through the woods, and I'm sure it looks improved to me. Let me know in the comments below, but I'm, I, it looks different in these woods. I can't pinpoint it. It looks, it looks improved. It looks more lush. I don't know. We're going to have to take a look and maybe do some comparison shots with 6.2, but we will have to wait and see. And the tourist trails, of course, which will hopefully stop us from getting lost a little bit more in the future. Next up, we take a look at improved weapon sway and the whole breath mechanic. As we can see, weapon sway is greatly reduced. The dev team have just been running through the woods at full sprint, and the weapon sway is hardly visible. But then you have the hold breath mechanic, which then seems to completely eliminate any weapon sway. This is a big thing for a lot of players, and pretty exciting for us that enjoy PvP. Now let's start taking a look at some of the new animations. How about player emotes? Some of these I really like. Uh, but uh, we have so many gestures, uh, uh, it will need uh, radial menu actually. Yes. So we will be still able to uh, bind uh, functional keys to the gestures, but uh, there will be more of them, so uh, it will be accessible through the radial menu. Right. Which will be, uh, which will be divided by the groups, uh, like friendly and thread and stuff like yep. that. Uh, we want to add, uh, and I think it's uh, already uh, being done, like uh, some uh, uh, military hand gestures, like mm -hmm. uh, go stay, and, and then the animation team's favorite go down and stuff like that. The rock. Paper and oh, rock, paper, scissors, that, of course. Uh, that, that's going to be absolutely <laughs> awesome. Of course, we're going to take a look at the new prone animation, rolling onto back. The rolling onto back mechanic, especially with the gunfight, is going to be pretty epic. Players running at you, you're spinning around on your back, firing your MP5 down at your feet. The character clipping through the shoulders of the character while doing this animation is, of course, work in progress. It will be fixed, so there will be no clipping in the character that you do see in the video now. But either way, all these new animations are pretty cool. You can actually aim now. Doing this, uh, which which Ooh. looks smooth, yeah. Except for the first person camera clipping, which we need to resolve. Obviously, that's that's definitely a high priori priority for us to yeah. look into a first person and just to improve it and just make it properly obvious. Yeah. Also, don't forget the proper turning animations, how the feet bend, the whole body moves when you turn with the camera or just the head. So much more realistic and telling when you're watching another player. One of my favorite changes and improvements coming to 0.63 is the new weapon animations. Much more smooth and in sync with each other than in 0.62. From chambering your weapon to cocking your weapon, reloading a magazine, all in great detail with new audio. And of course, another telltale for what the other player you're watching might be doing. We also see the new animation to climbing ladders with a smooth animation to enter and exit. I personally really like sliding down the ladder super fast. We can climb slow or fast. I prefer the fast. Uh, we have uh, different speeds on the ladders as well, so you can yep. like go down a bit more faster if you want as well. Mm -hmm. And especially the different is the exit animations on top. I think that's the yep. most visible one because right now the character just plays nicely. Yeah. 
And one thing to point out as well, the, the camera is still a work in progress, obviously. It, yeah. will f it will definitely improve how it looks and how it feels when you enter these. And as well as going into the ladders is really yeah. nice now as well. But so. you can see, uh, even now, I think it's like it's a great improvement. Yeah. But the camera is definitely a big focus for us for, for f near future, so that's something we will work on a lot. But yeah, you can see like the ladders work mm -hmm. pretty smoothly. Yep. And there was an one of another concerns in the legacy versions of Daisy. The letters now, of compared to like the very very old releases of Daisy standalone, are already much improved. Yeah. But just playing with with letters in 0 0.63 in general will have you feel much safer about you actually climbing a letter in Daisy, right? Absolutely. Like <laughs> <laughs> like all of those uh, Unless accidents. You get shot at. <laughs> Unless you get shot at, then you're a bit of screwed. course. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we can't forget about the jumping and climbing coming to 0.63 Experimental. It's not in this build shown, and may not be in the initial 0.63 Experimental build. But enough from me, let's hear it from the devs. The actual climbing, or like climbing over, over or climbing on the yeah. obstacles. So yes, yeah, that's, that's something we are yeah. adding the animations right now to the prototype yeah. for the programmers to plug that in. Um, so yeah, I think like this next week we will have like some working prototype that we will build on then. Yeah. So unfortunately, we can't show that right now because it's still not in the game, not. but we're very close. So Definitely. I think in one of the following status reports, I think we will maybe be able Hopefully, to yeah. tease a little bit. Yeah, Because that's something. going to be like a huge addition again. It will again. be like, yeah, because I think it's for Daisy especially where you have a different environment, obstacles or different environment buildings, yep. walls. Yes, fences, you should be able to go over that. Another feature we've been waiting for for quite some time is the injured animation. Having a visual tell that our character, or the character we're fighting, is injured. Of course being slower as well and an easier target to finish off. Of course you could always go and help the injured survivor that you see, because of the visual tell that he's injured from his limp and slow movement. These new animations should help drastically to our behaviour towards other survivors, whether it be during PvP and knowing they're injured, or knowing that if you didn't help that injured survivor, he may have not lived much longer. Following on from the injured animation, we of course have the fall animations. From low, medium and high falls, low being no damage at all, which of course would quite often kill us in 6.2 and before, to a medium, and then the high animation, which we still won't die unless of course low on health already, but we'll get that injured animation and need treatment ASAP. But the good thing with this is, as long as we were confident that we were not injured enough already to die on impact, we could dive off of a roof for a quick escape, again making for some great changes to the way Daisy is played and some unique opportunities and great content from you guys. While the infected were disabled, Eugen says there will be a lot in 0.63 Experimental, and they will be an even tougher threat. One thing I did want to pick up on, I believe 0.62 and before, was running about 30 FPS on the server side. Currently, 0.63 is running at 300 to 400 FPS on the server side. That is an immense difference, and allowing for a lot more to be done with 0.63. Expect big changes. We've seen some on the live stream here. There's still a long ways to go, but we're going to get there. But hold up, there's one more thing. I'm going to leave you with Eugen about the release of 0 0.63 Experimental. Hardest question of them all for, for oh. the end of our live stream. Already sounds bad. <laughs> How far are we from releasing the 0 0.63 on Experimental? Uh, I. It's just like, we make fun of it ourselves. Like, we know yeah. we're way behind but we're going to have a good game that yeah. we're that we're have been, have been taking uh, care of for a long time and that we're hopefully proud of um, when it comes to the release date um, we're going to push it out for a stress test uh, soon and we're talking not months we're talking weeks weeks 